up, y'all, and welcome back to the Reality Kingdom, where we put a real in reality or whatever, period. Period. I'm your host, Pharaoh. We are joined by our other host, Lee. And Lee, how did you feel about the finale, B? I'm happy. Uh, I'm so happy. Mainly because, like like I said, I've been binging old seasons. And, like, I was sitting here like, girl, where's the Black Winner? And where's here they are. And, and here this whole is. time, whole time, we were watching the season. Whole, whole time. Whole time. your cup? Water. Mm, interesting. Mm, colored water. water was pink. Colored water, bitch. Bitch, we got black winners. The way my pussy just like falls. I don't even know. But the way the, the butterflies in that cup. <laughs> the butterflies in my stomach. The butterflies in my stomach flutter up through my esophagus and out my mouth and into the world and it just spreads happiness and positivity when black people win these shows. Y'all don't understand how happy I am that Greg and John won this shit. Like the the pain in my heart, the pain inside of me when Andrea and Melena <laughs> were where Andrea and Melena lost. It it just it it was gut wrenching the whole day my whole week was ruined. Mm-hmm. And now I'm having a great week, a great day, a great time because Greg and John ate this shit up. They did. Five legs, one, four Gag in order. a row. Gag order. The bad bitch alert. It's Clock just it. simple. Clock, Clock it. it. Clock it. Clock it. They're the first um, black team to win the amazing race in 17 seasons. Child. This is season I 35. Think, uh, 35 I believe... minus 17. Cause someone posted a uh, um, a tweet and it had like four other teams. So I thought like they're probably like the fifth or sixth team maybe to win, or to have a black person in it to win. Either way, I'm I'm really happy. I, I love seeing diversity in these shows. And ever since that, you know, CBS allowed the by POC rule, we've seen diversity amongst all shows. Like in general, this year we have Jag, the first Punjabi winner, Big Brother. Now we have Greg and John who've won. Um, if you're watching Survivor, D, who's a Latina, is probably going to win, and or Katura, who's black potentially. You know, either way, like throughout every single show, there are multiple people who's been fan of these shows for years who did not see themselves represented in the winner's circle or just, you know, didn't have as much representation as other races. And, you know, it, it, as a Black person, I am always happy to say that a Black person win. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, it doesn't just absolve um, anything. There are still a lot of people who are not being equally represented. I wish they do in the future continue to cast other people of different backgrounds because, I mean, mm-hmm. just like I haven't seen a Black winner, I haven't seen any Asian winners. You know, DX was the first one I saw after watching so far, like, 10, 11, 12 previous seasons. Mm-hmm. Haven't seen any um, Latin winners. Anything. You know what I mean? There's not a mm-hmm. lot of diversity. And that's amongst all of the shows, like Survivor and Big Brother. There is not much. So I love that now that the rule has been implemented immediately, we see changes in these shows. The first season of Amazing Race back, there's an Asian winner. Now there's mm-hmm. two black teams who won. Mm-hmm. Same with Big Brother. There's three POC winners in a row. Same with Survivor. Mm-hmm. You know? So... Over I love and over it. Again. I love it too. I love seeing representation. It's just, it just makes me happy. I really know how they cry. I don't know. This isn't a podcast for you. We're always going to celebrate <laughs> it, and we're always going to be happy about it. <laughs> Period. Let me put the images up um, because I just need my black kings to be on the screen. Honestly, truly. Honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm shocked about. only because they got, they were so dominant towards this end game, and yep. also like. They weren't making mistakes and things like that. I don't know. I just felt like Rob and Corey were going to take it. And they ended up getting third, which is kind of a gag. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And Greg I and John have been too, a like that Rob machine. and Corey has always been great. They just could never get that win. And when you're in the final with a team I feel like that Greg and John, who's so dominant, you know, I mean, this is things that had to take place. But they also lost to Joe and Garrett, which shot to Joe and Garrett because they was doing a big one in this final. Uh, oh, they had me scared on my toes, scared, bitch. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> but hey, look, they did good. <laughs> Second place is always cute, too. So there's that for them. <laughs> well, not Abby Lee Miller doesn't think so. Abby, Abby Lee Miller what? said. Abby Lee Miller did it. <laughs> Abby Lee Miller said, Second place is the biggest loser. 
That's just not true. <laughs> that was hilarious because Abby Lee Miller was telling this to 12 year old girls. <laughs> Who just wanted to dance. <laughs> They just wanted to dance for fun. It was a hobby. She's like, Mom, I got second. Second? Hey, Maddie got first. <laughs> that's actually oh my sick. God. If that's you watch dance, lady. moms, you know what I'm talking about. But that's, it's that's a very sick. sick lady. It is. I need her to get some. But like, does that continue? Like, is Rob and Corey the second biggest loser? I don't the know. second, second biggest loser? <laughs> I, maybe it just applies for second place. Yeah, I I like I get that logic, but it's also just so negative. Like I want to be happy about second. Yeah, you're not the biggest loser. You're the best loser. You're the Boom. greatest greatest loser. Like you lost the the you know last. You lost the most, the least. You lost, you lost the least. last. You were the last to lose. Well, no, you you lost first. No, the person who lost first was the first out. No, we we're talking about specifically like. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Because they lost, they were the last to lose because everyone else saying. already lost. Y'all lost a long I time. I was specifically ago. talking about the final three, so I'm like, oh, they got their second. So oh. <laughs> they are the first to lose in this final because they got their second. So they they lost. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, Either way, go. <laughs> we're like, wait, but looking at it that way, that's true. Dang. Because well, you, but you, but that's the thing, it's different with a race because usually. You are the first loser if you get second, but in a race, it's eliminator style. So mm-hmm. they were technically like the last to lose. Well, really, not really, because really, Robin Corey would love. But anyways, what the fuck? <laughs> we started off and they got to got shit to do with the race, <laughs> <laughs> right? What the fuck? They got to fly to Seattle, Washington, and drive to the Space Needle or whatever. Seattle is really cute. Seattle is where um, Bella was at during Twilight. It's Fun also. Fact. Where Carly lived and I Carly. And it is also where Grace and Natalie that, is set in. That's Carly. quite literally the only reason why I know the space needle. Because they used to always Girl, show I Carly. Mm-hmm. They did on the little zoom scenes. The zoom zoom zoom. The little transition yeah. scenes. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> well, I wonder what that is. Yeah. Like what is that for? Like transition scenes? No, like the space needle. Oh, I wonder too. You looking it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, boom. So they got to drive to the space needle. When they get there, of course, they're all on the same flight, so they start off at the same time. And arriving at the space needle, Corey and Rob get there first. John and Greg get their second, and Joel and Garrett get the, John and Greg get their second. And Joel and Garrett get their third. When I tell you the J and G with Greg and John and Garrett and Joel's name has been fucking me up all season. Because oh. why do they have a name that starts with a G and a name that starts with a J and then John and Joel? Literally. Are both literally. <laughs> that has been the same. On my notes, it's jo- Joel and John. Joel and Greg. Jo- Greg and Joel. I, t- I put Joel and Greg. I'm over here reading it wrong. Who yeah. is Joel and Greg? And me up the entire time. Also, Greg and John flipped me up. I have not been able to, like, I have to, like, always check. Which one's Greg? Which one's John? Like, I've been having twins. to check who's Joel and Garrett. I, this I whole- used to. But I, I, I did something in my mind to make me remember which one's Garrett. But Greg and John, I, I one, haven't right? been able to do that. Is Garrett the tall one? No, Garrett's doing without a beard. That's how it is in my head. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. So but I Greg and John, I, I didn't work that out in my head. So I figured out Garrett confusing. and Joel like two episodes ago. Barely. Um, Same. Like, mine was like about three, three or four. <laughs> it was barely. <laughs> okay. So I, so barely like, I have out, to get but, this together. But I figured out Greg and John like episode one because I knew they was gonna be at the end game, and I was like, you know what? I need to clear this up. Who is who? Quick. Period. You knew. Um. But Greg look, is the look, one on the left. Google say. This is what Google say. Wait, is he? Yeah. The Space Needle was literally created as an observation tower to showcase the scenic beauty of the region. So that's for sure. Interesting. I really? thought it was actually doing something for space, and it's just random in the middle of the middle of the city. Yeah. That's interesting. People are weird. Humans are the weirdest people ever. Humans are the weirdest <laughs> people ever. The hell, boom! After this, they find out on the clue that they each have to walk across the space needle. Now, Pharaoh, we both got to do it. Oh, but am I going to do it, baby? This is the finale. I'm running. But you're scared of heights. You didn't want to glide. Oh, well. I'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get over it. I feel like I'm scared of heights, but it's not a. It's not one of my phobias. My phobia is tight spaces. If they have a crawl in a cave, mm. in this small cave hole system, fuck no. Yeah, I don't really like tight spaces either. I refuse. I'm not doing that. I will... 
I'm quitting right there. Oh my god. I'm quitting. You know Total Drama where Gwen was getting buried alive mm -hmm. and that was her little uh, fear and she had to get buried alive and they forgot her there? Oh my god, I would fucking throw up and cry in that casket because what the fuck? <laughs> but anyways, so one, one member has to go across the needle and then the next member can go across later on. It, this is not really a challenge. It's just like, a, I guess, a challenge. I don't know how to yeah, explain. They just wanted to it's a to task <laughs> more than a challenge is what it is. It's so, barely a task. They wanted to walk they just want to show the space needle. <laughs> That's what it's giving. For sure. <laughs> what was it for? To showcase. To showcase. To showcase. Um, so that's what happens. I mean, they finish in the order they got there, of course. And they have to go to the glass house garden to get their next clue, which is really like right around the corner. So Rob and Corey, they go first and they find out that this um, leg is going to be a scramble, which mm -hmm. means that there are going to be three different tasks that have to be completed, but you can complete them in whatever order you want to do. The three and tasks, yes. I was just going to say, if I'm not mistaken, we saw only like one scramble before, right? And that was at the mm -hmm. beginning of season one. I, I think so too. Yeah, I think that was I, episode one. I thought it was going to be something that they kept doing, but this is only the second time this is that only the second we've time seen it in these last two seasons. I honestly really enjoy this stuff. I, I like it too. Thing. I like it too. I like the idea. And they mention it. They're like, there's a point where they don't know where the other teams are. I kind of, a part of me wishes, you know, I'm not racing and this it has nothing to do with me. So I don't know how the contestants feel. But me as a viewer, I kind of wish they had like four tasks or like one more task to do. Because I kind of feel like three tasks after watching it, I was like, they could have did one more thing before we got to the end of this. They could have did one more thing before Especially we got to like that. it not being like a roadblock or like a. I guess they were each like roll. It gave like three separate roadblocks, I guess you could say. So yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, where's the roadblock? Where's the detour? But I guess this works. A part of me kind of want. A part of me kind of wishes there was on this last episode. It's kind of like how that one episode where one teammate had to do one roadblock, the other teammate had to do the other roadblock. I kind of yeah. wish this had that aspect of like. You're a team, but you have to complete a task. He has to complete a task. And then, of course, there's other challenges in between. And in this day, we're just doing all of them together. Yeah. I kind of wish, like, maybe, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, it's just one more thing. I feel like there could have been one more thing. I feel like there just could have been one more thing, honestly. But usually they do have, like, a um, a roadblock at the end. Or, yeah, they usually do have a, uh, I for, oh, I forget which one. Yeah, roadblock, only one person does it. So, yes. Uh, they usually do have that, and that's where it comes into play. Okay, you've done this many, I've done this many, so I have to do the final roadblock mm. on the finale. And mm -hmm. this one, that really wasn't there because they didn't have it. Yeah, that's interesting. I feel like I kind of want that. I needed a little bit more intensity with it, but it was still fun. So, um, boom. They have to do either grunge, grab, or glass. Grunge means you have to complete a um, task for a band, so you have to Get all their equipment put together correctly. Mm -hmm. Grab is you have to complete a trapeze stunt. And glass is you have to make a glass bulb. A hot, a heated glass. It's like a glass bulb. You have to literally create it with hot shit and moving the thing. So those are the three tasks. They got to complete all three of them. And you can do it in whatever order you want to do. Period. Point Period. blank. Um, so everybody starts looking for directions because everyone gets done with the needle and they're looking for directions and we kind of see how they're going to complete them. So Joel and Garrett says they're just going to go to the closest one first. Corey and Rob want to go to the furthest one, which is the trapeze and work their way back. And then we see Greg and John kind of do what Joel and Garrett did, which is just go to the closest one first. At first, I was like, Rob and Corey ate that up because since they're going to the farthest one, they're going to be able to just get. I just thought they were going to get it done faster, like that it was yes, going to it was going to help them. But maybe it's the opposite because it didn't seem like they were completing the tasks like any longer than it took the other people to complete it. But it might be the order they did them in. I think because they did glass last, it's kind of like they they had went through the entire day and they did all of these other stunts. And now they're at glass, which was arguably like one of the hardest ones, in my opinion, where you had to like continue yeah. to keep on making it. They were probably winded. They were tired. And Greg and John and Dolan Gary did it first. So it's kind of like all yeah. their energy was there when they were able to do this over and over again. So then the rest of them were just a little bit easier to do. So I think that kind of fucked them up by chance. I think like, that definitely could be what it is. 
because grab and uh, grunge were very simple, and this was the more yeah. intricate one. And usually, um, I think the strategy is when you know there's a harder one, you do the harder one first. At least that's what I like right. to do. But I think the hardest one right away, because everything else would be a piece of cake. And yeah. you know they weren't able to do that. Yeah, they did. So not, I, I, I originally not. loved the idea of them choosing further, like you said too. But then when you realize which is harder, it's like, well, if I wish I just went to the hardest one. Yeah, which would be crazy because they all would just did it in order <laughs> together. The whole point would be yeah, a it, it would, it The point of it wouldn't have even worked. But um, so we start off at glass, and John and Greg they pull up first, and we find out they have to make this like glass bulb. So what you got to do is, and this shit looked hard to me. I'm sorry, you had to like swirl the glass in the heat to make sure it was hot enough. Then you had to blow in it to create a bubble, like a small mm -hmm. bubble. And then you had to move to this other section where like your partner is blowing in it while you're spinning it and trying to cut it off. And that y'all have to kind of work together to get this shit done. Lee, I can see us being here all day. Honestly. Uh, I would hate, I would hope not. Do you think, like, I feel like for me, it just seemed like, and then you know how usually the um, checkers, they kind of like are okay with certain shit. It seemed like Greg and John had did it four times and they was like, mm -mm, well, there's he, a little had a, he had a whole ruler. He was like, oh, uh, it's not four inches. It's not. I was inches. like, a ruler? Or the, the clamp? That was sick. So this yeah, one would have been very hard. The right size. I would have to do it. Nothing. I would have to do this first. But the issue that I've noticed is I feel like if I'm frustrated, I'm going to end up frustrated the rest of the day. So if we no. did this first and I got frustrated, I would have been frustrated throughout the entire other two, honestly, because I would have just been annoyed about it the whole time, especially if we got passed up like John and Greg. So John and Greg got there first and Joel and Garrett got there right after them. And while they're working on the glass, Rob and Corey are doing the trapeze. Now, Corey eats that trapeze shit up and that would be me. I'm eating that shit up. You would I'm going, whoop, whoop. Why, squirrel. You, you, know, I've been you, I, you know, I've been gymnastics for like a week. Oh, okay, so I'm Girl, I learned how to do a backflip. Bitch. I, so you would ate this up. I learned how to do a backflip. Would I have ate this up for real? For real? I don't know. Wait, I don't like you're, com you're compact. I'm real small. And I, I, and I used tea, to do petite. Real petite. And I think I got like some enough strength to like lift my legs up. Like I'd be lifting my legs up just for fun. Now, I see that part look hard. That's the main part. That was basically the entire challenge. It's like yeah. you have to end up lifting your legs and hooking them around the the bar. And then you have to be upside down to get caught by the other person. So it's like, not I'm literally upside down in the air swinging, but yes, literally upside down in the air swinging. So that day looked difficult, but Corey ate it up. He made it look very easy. So Rob had a false sense of what was going on. Yeah. And Rob was struggling for a while doing that. Um, as honestly, I could. Because it's like, honestly, it's like one thing. It's it's kind of a thing where, like, either you get it or you don't. Either you know how to do it or you don't. And if you don't know how to do it, you just got to keep going and you got to keep practicing. So that's basically what happened. So while they're doing that, they're practicing. We see Greg and John and Joel and Garrett trying to get the blow orb shit out. And the orb shit is just difficult. It's taking them a long time. But at the end of the day, um, for this task, Joel and Garrett end up passing up Greg and John. So Joel and Garrett got there after them, but they leave before them. And Greg and John, I'm thinking, oh, Greg and John are going to be right after them because they're getting a check. Yep. It looks really, really good. Uh, eh, eh, eh. They got and a hole. It wasn't a hole. No, it, it was hole. like a little hole. It was a little hole in the oh, top okay. of it. And it's like, my heart sank, I'm not going to lie, y'all, because I'm rooting for Greg and John. So I was like, they're we're going to be right behind them. It's good. And when they weren't, girl. Girl, I thought it was over. And it, it wasn't just what it They was ended over. up doing like two more after Joel and Garrett had been gone. So I'm like, bro, they lost. They fucking lost. It's they over. did. So it gets Joel, and worse Garrett, from here, child. Joel and Garrett was gone and they were headed towards grunge and Corey and Rob get done with their trapeze and they're headed towards grunge and it's just John and Greg who's still kind of working on it and I was trying to throw up and cry and die literally. It's um, because they was talking a lot of shit. Like they was like, I mean, we're definitely going to win. Like we're really hyped to win today. It was like, mm. y'all, I was like, I hope we don't set them up because if they lost, it would have been like, okay. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> True. A little bit. Truly. Um, so they get to grunge, and I immediately was like, I would have ate grunge the fuck up because really? yeah, I've had a guitar, I've had an amp, 
So I know how to put a guitar and an amp up. Oh, but, yeah. also, but also the diagram, I'm a very like, um, like I like math, I like numbers, I like shit, putting shit together. And I feel like diagrams kind of go hand in hand because it's like you have to follow in a way, it's kind of like a formula. You gotta follow this formula. So what you're saying is we would have won the amazing race. Well, we wouldn't have made it to the final three. <laughs> <laughs> well, why no. are you doubting t- hashtag team if, reality this is team. what I'm saying if we did end up in the final three t- purple team I think we could have had a chance just as all three of these teams had a chance these teams all three had a chance to end up winning um, honestly as long as we didn't mess up at that, that end kind of how they did that was crazy but anyways so they have to just put the equipment together according to the diagram so Joel and Garrett are there first. And while they're putting shit together, Corey and Rob pull up. And Joel and Garrett, they have figured out that one of the pieces is basically fucking hidden. They like hit it on the bottom of the lid to one of the amps and it needs to go on the top of the amp. So it's kind of like secretive. No one's going to need to, you're not going to figure that out easily, but they figured it out and then they figured out that they needed to find their power cords. So they were able to end up finishing by the time John and Greg pull up. So Joel and Garrett are leaving, going on to their last task, and John and Greg and Rob and Corey are both still on the second task, and they both have to figure out basically these fucking hidden... That's the thing. That's what would have killed me here. The fucking hidden, flip it over so you can get the actual setup right and find the chords. I think that shit would have threw me off because it's like, why are you hiding shit? No, that was crazy. And on top of that... Why the fuck is John telling fucking Corey what the shit was that? And I was really gonna get mad here because he tells he's like, oh, we don't have a we don't have a cord. Hey, hey, Corey and Rob, do you guys you guys don't have a cord either, right? And they're like, a, a cord? We need a cord. They didn't even know they needed a cord. They didn't even know they needed. So they would have been there all fucking day, confused. He tells them like, okay, we're gonna go out and gonna go find the cord. So they leave the area. Rob and Corey look inside of the amp. Was that inside the amp? It was inside the amp. So, okay, pause. So, the inside of amps are empty, hollow? There's nothing inside there? I, I think it is hollow, but it's not usually, like the amp I had, it wasn't openable. But my cord, uh, my cord was, you know how on one of the amps, it was in the back of the amp, they kept like flipping it up and it was in the back, yeah. and the other one it was inside? Mine is like that one, where it's in the back of the amp. It's literally like a hole in the back of the amp on the bottom, and you can reach in and pull the cord out. So that's kind of how mine was, mm. and that's kind of how that was. But mine doesn't open up from the top. That was weird. Yeah, but I and the thing is, I would have never thought to open that shit up. So damn, that would that could have stopped me. But yeah. Rob and Corey open it. They're like, "Well, shit, we ain't saying nothing." Yeah. Greg and John come back in. Girl, Rob and Corey gets finished, and they dip. Gone. Not saying a word. I saw one tweet that was like, <laughs> "John is the first person to help um, a team in the final." <laughs> No, literally though. Because like, why are you helping somebody? I don't know. It was like, it was like, it reminded me of Rockstar from Big Brother. It's like they were confirming an insecurity. They weren't sure if they were wrong. So he kind of asked them in a confirming way, like, "Oh, did y'all have a cord?" And it's like, by doing that, you done caused them to literally win the entire time. Well, not the entire time. That but, guy. Uh, but literally, he goes, and now they're like, they're literally in dead last when Robbie yeah. Corey leaves. I'm like, well, it's over. Yeah. It is fucking over. This is crazy because thinking about it, John and Greg did worse on both of the challenges. On both of these two challenges, they did the worst. And they still ended up winning. So they ate that up. I'll give them that. Because they're just the last ones here. They're here for a while trying to figure out those last two like hidden things. But eventually they do figure it out and they're headed to their last task. They have to do grab, and so does Joel and Garrett. So Joel and Garrett and John and Greg have to do the trapeze, and Rob and Corey has to go and do that glass. And this is where we see that doing the glass last really fucks them up, honestly. Especially because the trapeze is not that hard. Yeah. You just have Once to kind of get come. it. It's yeah. locked in. Like yeah, the glass, uh, it, it'd be melting here, consuming. bitch. You got to roll it a certain way. You got to blow yeah. at the same time. Like you really got to be in sync. Mm-hmm. It's very time consuming and it's such a learning curve. So it's like you gotta get you gotta get it wrong like four times before you can finally even get one kind of right. And then that might have a hole in it. So I think this is what this is this is like what fucked them up, just the order. So 
when Joel and Garrett are doing the trapeze, it takes each of them three times to do it. They mm-hmm. still end up finishing before they Reagan's ate that. Done. Joel and Garrett, they, they did was eat that up. Eating the first half of this final, they did like, eat that up. They've been in first place the, the entire leg, mind you. The entire like, leg, jo- Joel and Garrett. And who would have thought? Like, who would have thought? I definitely didn't. I thought it was going to be between <laughs> Greg and John and Robin Corey. Uh, like, that's not even no shame. Like, they said themselves, like, they don't look as if they would probably yeah. be in this spot. And I love people to prove people wrong. Like, it was really given for a minute. Yeah. No, it was. So, um, they finished this. They're in first place. They have to head to literally the last task. They're going to the last task, which is – um. The clue they get. Oh, they get they get these little clues. They get a piece of the clue every time they finish the task, and it's yes. an airplane. So they um, finally put their airplane together, and they find out that it's an address. So they just have to get to that address to get to the last thing. But um, I, I will say, what's t- it just because it just came to my mind. This like you know we mentioned like you asked like oh is this kind of like one of the easier uh, like kind of in game challenges you've seen like I don't know if it was last leg or leg before mm-hmm. this is definitely the easiest font finale I've seen uh, you know what Literally, this finale I was, was easy as shit I was shit. thinking that I was thinking like and not what? not easy as like oh I can go out there and do it easy as in compared to the other seasons I've seen mm-hmm. this was nothing I feel honestly. Yeah. Girl, so boom. Um, they're headed to their last task, and John and Greg end up getting there. No, John gets it on his first attempt, and Greg doesn't get it until his second attempt. But they end up getting finished very fast, so they're also headed to the uh, address that's on the clue. And we see as they're all driving to that address, we see Corey and Rob finally finish their little um, bulb, their glass bulb. But I wonder. What the time in between that actually was, because I don't, yeah. think, I don't think Robin they Corey actually finished that fast. After. I, I, I think Rob and Corey were, were way behind. I think so too. Once Greg and John, Joe and Gary got to the uh, memory portion, like it's, a, it was a while when we saw Rob and Corey. I know. And then after well. that, there was no like, they were the edit wasn't even trying to give like, oh, Rob and Corey on their heels. Like I think it took them probably a while. Mm-hmm. I remember last season. I think the last task was. It was this. It was putting them in order, and all three teams were in the same building. They're in that same building trying to do that little musical note shit at the same time. That was intense. I was like, oh, my God, this is a good one. Now, girl, when we get on, what? you got, you got this in-game memory. Because it's all, I can tell you, it's always something you got to put in Hon- order from where we've been. Honestly, we've this is the thing. My my memory about things that I don't have to remember is bad because my brain filters some, there's so much stuff going on up here that it filters out anything that's irrelevant. If I don't think I need to remember it, or if I don't care to remember it, I'm not going to. But if it's something that I know I have to remember, I feel like it's, I'm really good at remembering things. Like if it's something I know I need to remember, if I'm telling myself, okay, remember, or like my lunch number or something, I'm going to remember it. I feel like quickly. So I feel like for this, even even the um the thing Joel and Garrett was messed up on because Joel and Garrett get there and immediately Joel says um one of the things which was bird's eye view and then the other one was high like a kite or something I don't remember but one of them was the airplane one where they had to see the numbers in the ocean and figure out what year it was mm-hmm. and then the other one was the tightrope one that was the very first leg and. I immediately knew bird's eye view was the one where they had to look down and see what the numbers was. But for some reason, Joel was like, no, that's the one where you had to do the tightrope. So Joel kept telling Garrett, that's the tightrope, that's the tightrope. So that was their mistake, is that he was telling him that he was confident about it. But me, I was like, that's definitely not the tightrope even before they showed it. But um, he thought it was. And see, and that's what I'm saying, like, girl. That literally know. lost them a million dollars. Is it a million dollars? It's a million dollars, girl. And I'm just saying, like, I would study, but girl, you're gonna have to carry this. I don't know. My thing, and another thing is, it's like, I just remember, like, even when they were saying the names, I, I like could remember when they said scoop it. Um, I was like, okay, I remember that was the Pomelos in Thailand or wherever they were at. I don't remember the, I don't remember the cities they were in. Yeah. Because you all, but that's the, you see, they got the little notebook, girl. See, it's giving, what is this called? Okay. That's true. Scoop it, Pomelos, Thailand. Jamaica, shit, we're making <laughs> period, <laughs> period. But no, so at this point, Joel and Garrett, and then they have to carry these kayaks, and apparently the kayaks, no, the kayaks are heavy because they're sweating by the yeah. time they're done. 
So these big ass kayaks is how you have to get it up on there. So there's also that to it. But um, it just was a lot. But by the time John and Greg get there, Joel and Garrett have completed their entire thing. Yeah. They just have to figure out what's wrong. So John and Greg, Greg are building the entire 50 kayak fucking chart while Joel and Garrett are just trying to figure out one mistake they have. And for some reason, they think it's like, what do they think it is? The order they're putting them in? Like they think that they put something on the bottom and it needs to be on the top or something like that. And I was like, mm -hmm. is that required? Baby, no. They just needed to flip two. And my thing, you know what killed me? Before John and Greg finished, Garrett asked Joel again. He's like, are you sure this wasn't this one? And I'm like, y'all might as well just try it. Y'all are I don't, literally like, done. You, like, just, just try, try it. And they didn't try it until, and it's funny because it's like, I guess they, in the back of their mind, they knew they needed to try it. Because when Greg and John finished, they were like, oh, well, let's try it now. Then they tried it and they got it right after Greg and John are already gone. And it's like, you should have tried that before they left. And now they won. were now they were close. Cause I when when Greg and what? John ended up finishing, they were I remember they said when they got there, like, oh, it was only like a few a few seconds or minutes. Like, like 20 like, seconds. They were like, we just got here like 20 seconds. Because I couldn't tell if the foot race they were showing was giving edit or are they really on their ass, but they weren't really on their ass. So it was mm -hmm. like they could have been that could have been real nasty. Like I told you, girl. These taxis and stuff like that be fucking people up in one wrong turn or one wrong. Oh, they were self driving yeah. though. They were self driving. And, and when Greg, they got Greg and John, they gonna mm -hmm. get that navigation up. So yeah. I knew as soon as they said it was gonna be memory, because I knew it was. I knew that's always the final challenge. Um, but usually, it's like with the country and stuff like that. I feel like with it being so specific, I was like, oh, Greg and John got this. Yeah, I was like, they I just John's know Greg and John is like amazing for some reason. Greg and John, they do everything. They play every instrument. They play every sport. <laughs> they've yeah. done gymnastics. They've done like Greg and John. Like they really they have a roster. Really bitch. Really sign good. them. Those Somebody things. needs to sign them. So I'm really happy they want it, and they put those skills to motherfucking use, bitch, and got them a million dollars. They want to really? go. They want to go open a university somewhere or some shit. I don't know they is. They Smart put them to good use. They need to, though. Honestly, it was really good. I really enjoyed watching them. A uh, part of me, like, kind of wishes, like, from the, for next season, I wish they have some harder challenges. I feel like last season, I saw some tough challenges, some challenges yeah. where they were crying. You remember when um, I think they were in um, Spain or a, a Latin country, and Molly had to, her leg was hurt, and she had to, like, put together this big-ass glass panel it was like you had to put the panels in to create an image. And she was out there for a really long time and she was hot and sweating and she was going to lose. And I really liked that challenge because it was so like taxing on them. And all of the challengers were like sweating and hot and struggling. And that was towards the end. That was like final five, I want to say. And it's like, I feel like we didn't get a moment like that this season where they were like near the end and they were just stuck on a task for a long time. There wasn't a role like that was just like, Everyone is kind of just struggling and we're here. Like when they had to build a motorcycle last season, they literally had to build a motorcycle last season. I just wish we had some more stuff like that. So next season, those are my hopes, honestly. Um, period. I really like the cast, though. I think that was yeah. one of the, the biggest. I'm really happy we're doing the Made the Race because it definitely, it not, like, touch and I'm dived back into it. It's like, I always usually really just enjoy the cast. I'm excited for another season to keep can, 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 to keep continue covering this, mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping to see. Look, these people need to be on the challenge. Like last season, Ooh, yeah. I'm so happy we got Luis on the challenge. We told them, we said y'all better get on the motherfucking challenge. Yeah, sure <laughs> uh, now, Michelle, we're still waiting on you, but I was happy to see Luis. But <laughs> like this season specifically, like it makes like last season, it made sense why a lot of them probably didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of them were kind of just, I mean, they had real shit going on. Point yeah. like there, a lot more of them. I feel like like this season is a lot more younger people. They don't really yeah. have, I feel like, established professional jobs. Like, yeah. I need to see Anna Lee, Morgan and Lena, Liam and Yeremi, mm -hmm. uh, Bitch Todd and Ashley. Like, I mm -hmm. need to see. I'd like to see Corey. This is Don, Corey. Like, this is the cast. 
where if you watch the channel do it, say you you know they don't bring any amazing race people. It's only been Leo, who I have watched all of his seasons. I was so confused. You like him? Love Leo. The uh, <laughs> Afghanimals. I yeah. fucking love Leo. But I was so confused why he kept getting brought back and then he was on the channel. Like, who is he? Love him. I get it. Um, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. He was strategic though for no and reason. He, and he dates that model who was an American Next Top model. Will and the new the, the, the his what his husband James Will. James. I need to watch his season. Um, but they had like him on, and I forget the girl they had on Kay had Kayla. Season, Kayla, and then season two, it like was Kayla. Luis and what's his name? Uh he was a simp. It was something Same. lame. Such a I lame I didn't watch name. his season yet. Don't even want to Oh, my watch God. It was such a Rusty? lame name. No. Rusty. Dusty. Dusty. Is it Dusty? Is it literally Dusty? <laughs> Where's Dusty at? I think it's Dusty. <laughs> well, those are the only five people, and they've had two seasons with, like, fucking 20 to 30 people on it. This is the cast. They can Dusty pull a people for. Like, I could see so many people from this cast thriving on the challenge. So I'm hoping that moving forward with Challenge USA, they get these amazing race people. Even while watching a lot of these older seasons, I'm like, why have they called them? So I'm mm -hmm. hoping that they call some of these people. Yeah, because Kayla was an understudy last season instead of actually on, yeah. which is weird because they had like 11 or 15 survivors or, or something. They, they had a lot so of people. Survivor and Big Brother. They and it's like, you could have kept one of them. That. Honestly, a list, a list, no shade, but, but you know what? I, I think people left her out. I truly think they don't, they're thinking there aren't big names that we can bring. Cause I, I, I believe I James see. won, and then Afghanimals, I mean, he was he literally played three, three seasons. So yeah. I think they're thinking, okay, of course he's a huge name. I think they're not, I think they're thinking no one is as a tech because you know, you know how it is with Big Brother. America has stands. The blue yeah. has stands that are going yeah. crazy for the entire summer. That That's when true. they get cast in the challenge, those stands are going to come out. Same with Survivor. People get wet. I think uh, I think people don't get attached to the amazing race player as much as they do with Survivor and Big Brother. I really don't know why. I guess because there's not like a that strategic. Um, like a lot of people just don't want to watch a race. I'm not going to lie. I yeah. think the reason why I kind of like tuned out is because. I only saw the Amazing Race as a race, but now that I'm older, I I just enjoy so many different qualities about it. It's really mm -hmm. just not just a race; it's so much more than that. Mm -hmm. But I just think that the overall audience is not as just attached, and yeah. that sucks because, like I said, I would love to see a lot of people play again, play yeah. Amazing Race again, play other things. So, hopefully, we get that. That's true. I really, really want to see them on Amazing Race as well. I'm excited for next season. I just, I just once again, I hope that's already been filmed. The next it's already season been, it was is the before, season before this season, but it wasn't it was 90 before, minutes. But um, did I see somewhere that they re-edited to have 90 minutes, or is this next one only, only going to have an hour? I Still. know Survivor is confirmed for 90 minutes. I don't know what Big Brother is giving. Because so, this next season, you know how this season, both Survivor and Amazing Race premiere on the same day? Yeah. Next year, they don't premiere on the same day. Survivor comes mm. first. So Amazing Race. And, and this season, this specific season that we just got done, it was filmed to be 90 minutes, so it worked mm -hmm. to go before. I can easily see with the strike being over. Okay, next I found it. Hour. This Emmy-winning reality TV conversation will continue with 90-minute episodes for season Both? 30. So they must have re-edited it to mm. just, to just include, add 30 more minutes to each one. I, I was thinking they have time to do it now. So what is that going to give then? Because, because they didn't even intend it. Like, this was intended, and it got to a point where it's like, girl, we don't need it. So a season where it wasn't even intended, girl. It's going to be interesting. But I, I guess we'll see, y'all. We'll, we'll be here. We'll I really do here. like the Amazing Race. I feel like people be sleeping on it, so they I'm are. excited. They are. They, they really are. Even, like, I posted a picture of, like, these people should be on the challenge. And in the middle, it was um, Annalie, Lena, and Yeremi, and people, uh, so many people in my comments, who are they people? Who are these people? They look so iconic. Who do, do, do. I'm like, they're on the maze race, eating it up. Go watch. <laughs> Go watch. Tune in, please. But um, what I, what another thing is, it's like for CBS, if they get them on the challenge, people who d didn't watch Amazing Race are probably going to be like, damn, Anna Lee was on Amazing This bad bitch who's beating Tori and Paul Bra was on Amazing Race? Girl, and you can't tell me Lena wouldn't get on the challenge to start clocking bitches left and right. Clocking bitches. Like, I, I, like, cause think about it. The Leo 
Jane and Kayla ate up season one. They the did. They one. brought personality. Luis, he didn't get to really have the time to shine, but in general, he was like he it. was bucking he up had, against the vets. He yeah, was exactly. And he even had Dusty, energy. he had a, a story. Like we hate, we we hate watch them. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's like they are bringing things. I'm Annalie. Yeah. She was Annalie. Everything. We, if you don't get nobody else, you get Anna. they better you get to start a petition. Like I will. You know what's crazy? Fund me. What's crazy is I take Steve. I take uh Rock. Steve. Like I I take a lot of people from Amazing Race. Amazing Race, they don't care to hide their personalities because it's not a strategy. So I think like that's why it's a good fit for the challenge because it's like we're not being sneaky and nothing. they're just gonna be themselves. And Elise is gonna no, be herself. And, and you know, people actually tried that in previous seasons. To do what? To lie about their profession and stuff like that. Because yeah, the idea is fuck? we don't want these people to think we're a strong like so I they don't it, was a team of, it was a team of like secret agents. Um oh, that is a, women. They were like a secret, I, they were, I forget they were like in the police or whatever the fuck. But um they pretend to be teachers, and then Art and JJ, this um, this team of uh, Border Patrol, they were like, they're clearly not teachers because they understand our, our our lingo or whatever, and they got caught mm-hmm. up. But they were like, we don't want to tell anyone because we don't want to become targets. And it's like, girl, you girl. you are fine. Y'all at the bottom of the race every day. No one gives a damn. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are safe. Y'all are safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, period. I think those are my thoughts. I think keep up with the casting. Add some more comps, and I'm good, and I'm excited for next season, y'all. Yeah. We're we're still covering um, the finale of Survivor is coming next week. Tune into that. We're covering Big B B Reindeer Games if you're interested in that, and soon upcoming we will be doing Big Brother Rewind. So if you're a BB <laughs> fan, just tune into that. And thank you for watching the season with us, and thank you for keeping it real with the kingdom, bitch. We're out.